hello YouTube uh, this is Cole with meet the Bible no scripture today <laughs> I just want to I just want to put something out there the subject is hell do you believe in hell I want to uh, for a point I want to take away all forget scripture forget any wheres in the Bible it talks about hell or Hades or any other thing that you've been told and, and for some reason uh, amazes me that, <laughs> that people believe this stuff um, let's talk about God our Father in heaven who made us right who created us who formed us all right you know we, we no one has to be born we were born Okay, roughly, I got another video on that, 9, 10 billion souls, or no, 13 billion souls, I'm sorry. God, correct me if I'm wrong, is kind, compassionate, loving, caring, forgiving. He's wonderful. He's this great, wonderful being that created all things, created good and evil. If you do not worship this God, however, on your short time on earth, you know, 70, 80 years, you will boil in lava for eternity. Does that make any sense at all? Does that got a lick of sense? Well, it's our choice, right? And I choose not to burn for eternity. Oh, no, no, that's not it. You got to choose whether you love God or not. Believe me, people, I love God. <laughs> no question about it. But what I don't love is the false teaching that people will somehow suffer if they don't love God. It's not in the Bible. It ain't in there. Okay, so I'm going to go to a verse. I'm, I'm going to go to, well, John 14, 6. John 14, 6 says, the only way to God is through Jesus. The only way to get to God is through Jesus. Fair enough? That's what it says. Well, John 6, 40 4 John 644 says the only way to Jesus is if God draws you and in fact the Hebrew word is drags you so if God don't want you you ain't gonna get drawn to Jesus to get to God people it is a false teaching and here's the danger when you tell atheists and I know this has been around for a long time you know it was uh, you know it was a Dante's Inferno was a comedy that was made up hundreds of years ago and the Catholics jumped on it and thought hey we can get people in church we'll get them in church to put money in the tray bam hell was created and hell is non-existent certainly isn't right now now hell by definition is uh, uh, separation separation from God for eternity and yes that would be that would suck okay but you don't know what sucks you don't know you're separated oh don't tell people that we're Baptists we're supposed to tell them they're gonna burn well that's not what the book says it simply isn't it says you're perish John 3 16 again I wasn't gonna do any verses but 316 says you you know if you don't believe you'll perish the, nothing this doesn't say anything about eternal torment it don't say that so anyways I, I just again I, this whole hell things on my chest and and I, because it's been coming up lately in prison and some other places I just thought I'd address it without scripture although I noted a couple but a loving caring God all right you can't say that created us and it's gonna boil us in lava you know I, I you know if you have a dog that's disobedient would you hold a cigarette lighter on that dog no 
You sure are not going to boil them forever, burn them for eternity, uh, and God loves us more than we love a dog. So it's an absurd concept, guys. And I just, you know, when we tell people that that if they don't accept God, they're going to burn and suffer, I think that pushes them away. I think it pushes them away. P guys, the, the, the end is coming. We, we need to get on facts on what we teach. We need to teach the meat of the Bible. Well, milk the new people. But the meat of the Bible to experience people. And hopefully you're watching this, you're experienced. And, and we got to get away from the tradition that teaches us false crap. It's just false. I, I know Mama said it. And Mama 316 says that there's a burning hell. All right, nobody's in hell. Nobody will be until the great white throne judgment a thousand years after Jesus' return. Okay, then uh, people will be cast into the lake of fire. Then the lake of fire. Then hell will be cast into the lake of fire. And it'll be done. Okay, God is not going to sit there and, 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 you know, we're on the right side. It says separate the, the, the sheep from the goats. The sheep are on the right side. Goats are on the left side. And we're not going to sit there. God's not going to sit there waving at us and, you know, hey, guys, we're laying by the pool with a drink with our umbrella in it. Hey, guys. And then on this side, we can't see it, but there's this wall, you know, and he's looking at the majority of his creation boiling and suffering. So he looks over on this side and serves you guys right. You had 70 years to worship me and you didn't. Wave and hello guys to us on the right. Think about the concept of what we're teaching people. It just don't make no sense if you put thought to it. There is no forever painful burning hell. I imagine there's some degree of punishment for Stalin, for for Kim and Pao, and for, you know, there's different levels of something for somebody who who p treat people badly <clears throat> but if you're a Buddhist you know you believe in treating people kind and you go through life you don't believe in God you're gonna burn forever it just don't make no sense anyways I, I, <laughs> I digress I've gotten off on a tangent I didn't mean to take this long but I just I just uh, there's no such thing as a as a conscious burning hell not now not ever in the Word of God. Mourn on Team Satan people. I hope, I pray you join Team Jesus. And subscribe. <laughs> With time's running out. Let's let people know we, we need this. We, we, we're serious about this and, and uh, let's start teaching the Word. God bless. Thanks for your time. Bye.